Yo, what up guys, it's the kid CJ City. So, I'm actually back at the crib right now. I have to refilm this intro. Basically, I went to this sneaker event. It was called the Dope Exchange. They decided to come out here to Ontario, California. So I was about to slide through. I wanted to see what kind of sneakers they had and all that good stuff. I did my intro, I went down, but I feel like I have to prep you guys for this footage first, okay? Because first of all, it was like a small room, right? It wasn't like sneaker con. They had a DJ, they had like the whole, you know, mixing board. The music was just way too loud, okay? You guys could not hear me talking in that building. When I show you these sneakers, they're gonna be no voiceovers, I apologize. So they're just gonna be like quick shots. I'm basically just doing that to show you what kind of vendors, what kind of sneakers that you're gonna get at this dope exchange, okay? Don't blame me if, you know, I'm just gonna show you the footage, but don't blame me. I can only film what they had there. Um, secondly, they did have a sneaker battle up there that I did participate in. You know, I'm gonna uh, basically, I, I got a little footage of that, but it was hard to film while I was actually on stage. So uh, let's just go ahead and cut to the sneakers and then we'll talk about the sneaker battle after. <laughs> Choose the winner. 
I got my own personal page for it because these are all real diverse stickers, y'all. So they up here judging this battle. They made no noise for the La Palmers. They made no noise for the Tokyo Five. Homie got the Yeezys, and they picked Homie with the Yeezys. Winners, come on to the stage. Oh, man. This dude... Why are we not shot? This dude won everything. All right, so here we are, man. This is, you know, the second part. I, 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 Like I said, I got back home. The sneaker event is over. The sneaker battle is over. Everything's over. Matter of fact, I didn't even show you what I had on foot. Got my little Kooji shirt on. I had to throw the Kooji Pumas on, man. You know, just wanted to do something a little different for the people. You yeah, know? <laughs> just something a little different. But anyway, let's just talk about, you know, this whole sneaker event, right? Like I said... The venue was kind of small, so the DJ was playing his music way too loud. You weren't going to be able to hear me, so I do apologize for that. They had a sneaker battle. I did participate in, right? So basically, you bring your best three sneakers, you show them to the crowd, and the crowd judges you. I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to bring some stuff that I know can beat some Yeezys because people are going to play Yeezys, and I don't want the hype beast to just think, oh, just because he got Yeezys, he won. So I brought three, like, dope sneakers. I'm actually not going to tell you what sneakers I, I played because I want to play them on my sneaker game. So I don't want these sneakers to get played out. I'm not going to show them. I don't want my competitors knowing what sneakers I have. You know, so I don't want to play these sneakers. But trust me, they were dope sneakers. I went up against some dude, you know, actually everybody on stage, you know, was there. I didn't go up against a, a specific person. But the person I felt like was the most competition, this guy had the Solar Red Yeezy, the twos. He had the Louis Vuitton uh, Yeezys, and then he had like the, some off-whites or something like that. I think it was like the University Blue or something like that. You know, obviously he had all the hype beast stuff. Then we had another dude. He had the Tokyo Fives, and then he had uh, like two other pretty dope shoes. I forgot what he had. Then we had another guy who had the reverse LeBron O'Palmers, uh, and then he had uh, the Wu-Tang Dunks. And then he had like some, um, it was like some PE samples, Jordan 3s or something like that, some Michigans or, I don't I don't really remember what he had, but it, it was dope, man. Those are the two people I felt like, all right, if anybody beats me, it's going to be these two, but my sneakers can't compete. I'm telling you, they ain't making no noise for your boy CJ City. <laughs> they didn't. Uh, and had some dope stuff. They didn't make no noise for the dude who had the, the Wu-Tang Dunks, the reverse LeBron, uh, La Palmer's. And, and he also had, like, some threes or something. They went crazy for this dude who had the Yeezys, man. Like, he had the regular solar red Yeezy twos. Like, we've all seen those plenty of times. Like, I don't understand why those were so fire. Um, The, the Louis Vuittons, those was dope. Those was pretty cool. And then the off-whites, they just went crazy for the off-whites. So, basically, he won the competition. It was like a $500 competition or whatever. This man won, like, undisputedly. Like, the whole crowd was screaming for him. I didn't know it was just going to be a bunch of hype beast up there. I was trying to bring some dope stuff that actual sneaker heads would appreciate. I don't really have no hype beast stuff, man. So, anyway, that's what happened there. The shoes that you saw is what happened there. That's basically all the Dunk Exchange has to offer. Just in case you guys were wondering what this venue was like, you couldn't make it down. Or if this uh, place actually comes to your town, then you could kind of know what you're getting involved into. That's the reason why I did this. But uh, other than that, I'm signing out. I got the, uh, what What are the nicknames for those iridescent 11s? The Easter 11s? Just got those. I'm going to be reviewing those. So make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Make sure you tune in tomorrow because that video will be up as well. But until next time, I'm signing out. You already know what it is. Peace.